Hey YouTube, it's Kristen. You're watching Chatterbox Budgets. Thank you so much for joining me for a video today. Hope everyone's doing well. It is Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. It's 8.45 p.m. here in Salt City, Utah. I am here to do my budget for the second paycheck of August, which will, was on the 26th. We'll be doing that in the YNAB app. That's you need a budget, and we're just going to dive right in. So my paycheck on the 26th was for $1,473.15. That was my take-home pay. And then the paycheck before that was $1,455.89. Now, I had already budgeted part of that last paycheck towards the expenses for September. However, I had some stuff come up, and so what I've done is I've gone back in and I've, I've made, basically made everything that's September expenses a zero um, assigned amount right now. So everything's in the ready to assign category, and then we're just going to go through and do it all at once. So I only had like 900 and something dollars in there because I had used my paycheck on the 12th for part of the expenses for August. Anyway, and then I also did have some extra inflow in August for funds, and so the total amount we have to budget with is $5,252.19. The extra money is from a refund from Wells Fargo for my car loan that I got from them in, the, in 2011 and paid off a couple years ago. There were some, um, they had applied some payments incorrectly at one point, which led to my car being re repossessed and which led to me having to pay fees to get the car back. And so they were refunding the fees I had to pay as well as interest for the funds that they've had this whole time. Um, I'm not gonna talk about exactly how much it was just because I don't think that's anybody's business. Um, that repossession of the car was done on my birthday, the year it happened, and it was very traumatic. And the whole experience was very traumatic. And to find out now that it was actually not my fault, it was very, it's been a very strange experience because first of all, to have them admit they did something wrong was weird, but also to just get a check out in the mail randomly was just kind of strange. Anyway, I think I'm still afraid they're gonna come back and ask for the money back. So I'm a little bit, you know, a little bit cautious. Anyway, so we're gonna budget $5,252.19. And so this is technically the second paycheck of August, but really what we're doing is we're using any funds left over in August to cover expenses for September. This means that I'm back to being a month ahead on covering my expenses and I can go back to budgeting monthly, which I'm very excited about. That actually is going to be a huge relief because because doing it by by paycheck just doesn't work for my brain or my the way I budget. Anyway, okay, so we're going to go to the assigned money category and just auto assign because that'll be the easiest way to do all this. So... We're gonna do underfunded because that's the easiest way to do it as well. So for scheduled expenses, it looks like we need $2,544.09. So for rent, we need $1,688.75. Electricity, we need $50. Natural gas, we need $24. By cell phone, we actually don't need $63. We only need 50, let's see, it's $50.73. I did get a new cell phone in August, and so there's a little bit of a credit on my account. Um, internet's $108.58. I do still need to call them and see if there's a promotion I can sign up for to get that $10 off again, but I haven't done it yet and I'm not too worried about it right now just because there's so many other things going on. Auto insurance, I'm budgeting $75. I think it's going to be between that and $80. My renewal does happen in September, but the new bill won't be available for like another week. And so I did try to do the calculations myself with the six month um, premiums, but, and just divided it by six, but I forgot to write it down and I don't, I don't. I'm not going to worry about making it. It The money's there. It'll be fine. Um, and I do not pay my car insurance in advance, the six months or a year of advance, because there's no discount. And that, to me, that's just not logical to give them my money up front when I can hang on to it myself and be earning interest on, on my side because there's no discount. And if I did that, I still have to put the money aside in the sinking fund or whatever. And so it just makes more sense for me to have them take it out when it's due every month. So anyway, that's how I feel. Okay. And then pet insurance, um, this is a new one. So, well, not new, but this is a different way of paying for it. So I've been paying for pet insurance through a payroll deduction for the last five years, and they're no longer offering that. So I do have to switch over to paying them directly, which is not a big deal. It's just, it's just you know, it's the same thing. It's just a different way of doing it. So I'm going to put the $161.56 aside because I do think I have to pay them in September for October's premiums. And I think they're still taking out my paycheck for September, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're going to budget for September just in case, and then it'll all work itself out. And then once that is no longer being taken out of my payroll deductions, then my paychecks will be higher. So it'll help cover it all out or balance it all out. So anyway, 
Okay, personal loan, $160.71. That's the same one I've had for a year, just the normal thing. These two are new. So a firm loan number one, $27.85. That is for Cricut Wireless. That is, I financed my cell phone, my new cell phone through a firm. I was able to get it with zero APR, so there's no interest charges. And so that was the perfect thing for me at the time. This was before the refund happened. Um, I, I'm planning on paying it off as soon as possible, but because there's no APR, I'm just going to let it go for a little while longer, just let things kind of settle. Anyway, so there's that. And what I'll probably end up doing is making two payments a month, but I haven't done that yet. And I'm, I'll probably just wait till October and just, like I said, let things settle. And then firm loan number two is for um, Best Buy. I did buy a new computer, a new TV, and a bunch of other things. And so that one, um, the monthly payment is $184.64. I have every intention of paying that one off as soon as possible. There is 29.99% APR on that one, but I never let my FRM loans go longer than, like I, I pay them off sooner all the time. Um, and the reason I use affirm loans instead of using credit cards is because the affirm loans do not impact my credit score. And I've been working so hard to get my credit score as high as possible. And it's already impacted by using my cards and paying my cards off. And so I didn't want to add anything to that. But also I use affirm because it's harder to use it. So I make better choices with how I spend it. Whereas if I use my card and I can just swipe it, it's so easy to just add things to it. And so it's kind of the same thing because you're still borrowing money. But for me, I am not against that. I don't follow the Dave Ramsey baby steps or any of that stuff. And so I just want to make it as um, something that's a, that it's a something I've thought about, something that I put you know put effort into, and not something that I just randomly went out and purchased. So anyway, that's sorry that was a lot a lot of rambling on that. So those are two new ones, and I may pay them off next month. I don't know yet. I just got to see how things go. But again, I want to give myself a little bit of time to let the dust settle because I really am seriously afraid that Wells Fargo is going to come back and say, "Oh, we gave you too much money," and then ask for money back because that's I had that happen with the state of Utah back like 15 years ago. They sent me a refund, and I had just adjusted my taxes and done some stuff, so I thought it was really for me. I waited three weeks to cash the check, cash the check. The week before Christmas, they called me and said, hey, that money wasn't for you. Someone put your social security and number to in instead of theirs. And they had, I had to pay them the money back. And so ever since then, I'm a little wary of getting just random checks in the mail. So anyway, okay. But the letter that they sent me, the letter Wells Fargo sent me was so specific that I feel you know, more comfortable with it. Anyway, so unscheduled expenses, we're going to, we're going to do $700 instead of $680. So this is more than I had planned on originally because I am able to increase that since I do have that little extra little bit of money. So we're going to do $80 for gas instead of the 60. But so food and groceries is $30. That's going to give me $75 a week. Um, $80 for gas or fuel, gas and fuel. It's the same thing. Household, which is covering toilet paper, paper towels, uh, trash bags, things like that. That is going to be $60. Personal stuff, which is covering deodorant, body wash, shampoo, anything that's for personal hygiene, that's $60. And then pet stuff is going to be $200. That's for things like treats, doggy bags, cat litter stuff. Um, we're going to do $200. I did just spend like $300 on them. With I just signed up for Amazon Subscribe and Save again and just had everything delivered. So we're over budget in August which I cover with that extra inflow. Um, so this won't be, hopefully won't be needed until the end of the month, but I wanted to put it in there just so it's there. Anyway, um, and we'll talk about all of that in my, in my, um, my weekly check-in. So for frequent spending, I do need to cover like clothing and things like this, but for right now, I'm not going to worry about it because I'm not sure how much I'm going to be spending on clothing. I do a capsule wardrobe <clears throat> and so I am changing some of the stuff. So I have some sweatshirts that are getting worn out. And I am also having allergic reaction to the fabric, so I need to replace those. And then I have other ones that I'd already purchased last year that are a different color, they're, just, they're gray. And they're just not flattering. I feel very, um, I just feel, I, when I see myself in the mirror, it makes me feel a little bit, just, I just don't like how it looks. And so I will still wear them, just not necessarily for like day-to-day -day, like work and stuff. And so I ordered some fleece jackets that are, um, a better quality like a little bit nicer quality but they also have zipper pockets and things and so I have a certain thing I have to have because I do wait I do layers I have to wear layers because that's just how I, I work anyway so I'm gonna spend a little bit more on that and then I did order some more shoes I wanted some boots to wear to the gym so I wanted some supplement boots that I could wear to the gym to just switch into my gym shoes and stuff so that'll be coming out and so I'm, I'm gonna wait and put all that in there once I get everything figured out because right now the 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 fleece jackets are on the I did them through the prime wardrobe 
try and buy or whatever it's called. So I haven't actually decided which ones to keep yet. So anyway, those will be in September. Okay, and then irregular expenses. Um, I do have a hair appointment next month, so I need to put that in there. <clears throat> um, gifts, we're going to do $300 because that's how much we need. Um, that covers birthdays, holidays, including Boston's Day, and then also Christmas. And so there's those. And then um, we'll come back to these in a minute. HSA funds, that gets funded out of my HSA, out of my paycheck. Pharmacy, I use the HSA for, so we don't worry about those. Monthly fees, I'm going to take this one down to zero. It doesn't need to be on there. Okay, so <clears throat> Yardy, 95 cents. That's what I pay for to use the portal to pay my rent. I'm hoping to put my rent on auto pay. So I may not have to pay that. I'm not sure yet. I have to go look at that. I've been waiting to do the auto pay until I had like a little bit of a buffer in my account, just in case they charge more or they take it out sooner than I expect. So if they charge a fee that's more than the 95 cents to do auto pay, I will not be doing auto pay because it doesn't make sense for me to pay them money for a bill that I don't have any problems paying. If I had issues remembering to pay it, that'd be one thing, but I don't. So YouTube premium, $12.95, Kindle Unlimited, $10.71, Netflix premium, $19.99. I'm hoping to put that down to one screen, but right now we're still, like, I like having the um, Ultra HD. It's just a better quality. Vasa Fitness, $16.09. That's my gym membership. HP Instant Ink is $6.42. These are still out of order, and I don't know why. Um, Hulu, $13.93. That's for the no commercials. They do not have that available on, or no ads. They do not have that available on an annual subscription or whatever. Prime Acorn, $7.50. Audible Premium Plus, $16.03. I do use that. I do buy a book pretty much. I may not buy one every month, but I might buy three all, all at once. So, um, And then Prime Bit Box, Brit Box, $7.50. So those total up to $111.97. Annual fees. And I did change these up a little bit. I have taken some of the ones that are not actually scheduled and put them up by themselves up under the scheduled expenses but it was causing me too much confusion. I kept saying annual charges or annual changes instead of annual charges. Anyway, I put them back under here again. Uh, so for annual fees, we've got Google storage, $163. That's due in August, actually it's September. So I have three Google storage accounts and instead of having them separated in here, I put them under one. One of them I just paid in August for the annual fee. And then the other ones do the 2nd of September. That one's also annual. And then the, one, the other one's in October. So I just put them all together. And so by the, the end of October, we'll be able to start over for the next year's. But it just made sense. It won't It won't be quite that much. But then I can just roll you know, roll over or whatever's left over. Okay, Amazon Prime. We're doing $37.50. That's due in December. Walmart Plus, 24 I can't even see. I'm so sorry. My eyes are so blurry. $26.50 for Walmart Plus. That's due in December. TurboTax, $25 due in January. YNAB, which is this app, $11.80. That's due in May. Emissions Plus, which is one of the ones I put back in here, about $6.50. That's due next June. And it's probably going to be more than $65, but whatever. Uh, Utah Department of Motor Vehicles, I'm doing $8. That's due next June. Microsoft 360 Personal, I'm doing $6.46. That's due next August. I just paid for it for a year. Blink monitoring, which is my security system. I just pay for that. And so that's due in next August, $8.31. And then Sam's Club, um, I just paid for that too. And so that's due next August as well. That one wasn't actually due until September, but they kept asking every time I went to the app, they kept asking me if I wanted to pay it now and I had the money available. So I'm like, yeah, let's just pay it. So now I can just start budgeting for next year. So, okay, that should be everything. So that leaves us with $1,207.02 for other things. Let's just go ahead and do a sign real quick and see where we are. So the annual fees ended up being $301.38, which is, that sounds right. Okay, so we're going to put $1,000 in my contingency fund. And then we're going to put the rest of it in my freedom funds. I'll probably need to take some more out of other categories to cover the some of the clothes and stuff, but I'm not too worried about it because it's all just sitting here waiting. So, okay, so we're at a zero-based budget, which is what we're going for. So everything's been accounted for. We're just gonna go ahead and assign it <clears throat> and then save the assignment. Okay, so everything's funded for um, September. And I'm not sure why the one for the cell phone's yellow. I thought I fixed that. Anyway, that's okay. It's just saying that the target, the target's usually 63. So it's probably just saying the target's low, but that's okay. It's not, I'm not worried about it. 
Okay, so there we go. That's how much we need to have for September. I am so excited to be able to cover my expenses um, a month in advance again. And I will be looking at paying off those those affirm loans as quickly as I can. Um, I knew when I did them that I was planning on getting paid by the end of the year. And so I, like I said, it was, it was something that I put a lot of thought into. So it wasn't a spontaneous decision. I've been looking at the computer for like a year and I just, I just needed to finally just do it. So I've got a lot of things I've been waiting on and I was going to wait longer and do it when I got my overtime with work. But because I had that extra info, I thought I would just take care of it now. And then that way I can, um, stop thinking about it, honestly, because work's going to get crazy. So yeah, so this is what we're looking at. And then the paychecks in September will go towards my expenses for October. I do have cash for my, um, my unscheduled expenses and also some of my freedom funds, which is going to be funny because I, yeah, I, I don't know how that's going to work because I got cash, but I'm still planning on using my credit cards. So I still have to use my checking account. So I don't know how we're going to work that out, but it's going to be fun. I wanted to go back to using cash for the stuffing. So instead of using pot money, I'll just be using cash, but I'm not necessarily going to be using the cash to pay people. So I'll just be taking it out to go take it back to the bank. But instead of taking it back to the bank, I'll probably just put it back in my safe. So anyway, we'll figure all that later. Okay. We're already at 16 minutes. I better let you go. I've got to go get in bed here pretty soon. Cause I woke up, I wake up about four, it's supposed to be three 30, but it's been about four 15, four 30 lately. And then, um, I have a big project due tomorrow that I've got to finish and it's going to take a lot of energy and concentration. So I'm going to try to get to bed as early as I can tonight, but I may, might also be back to do my weekly check-in. We'll see. But the weekly check-ins will cover all of the spending. It'll show everything on here um, and it'll go over in more detail where all that money went um, and why. Since I'm a single person and um, I basically use September and August, October, not October, September and August to get caught up on everything to cover everything because work gets insane starting in October. So it's kind of like back to school time is when I do everything that's like, you know, trying to get the clothes set up. But that's also because I love how, like I love fall clothes. I uh, like long sleeves and stuff. And so I usually, I usually end up buying stuff out. Then. But anyway, okay. Sorry. That's so round with you guys. I apologize. I, I, this is like the sixth time I've done this video and I just, yeah, <laughs> actually that's just today. I did it quite a few times over the weekend, but <clears throat> I kept finding things I had missed up, missed up, messed up on and I'm updated. And so I wanted to go back and get them done. And so, and then earlier I had to start over cause Zeus barked really loudly right in my ear. And so anyway, and I, <laughs> it made me, it scared me. So I like reacted. And so, all right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. And again, I, I, I'm not going to apologize for being different because that's the whole point of my channel was to be different. Um, I never wanted to be a channel that had a ton of subscribers and, you know, I just, that wasn't my goal. I just wanted to be able to share a different point of view and just be able to show you that there's something else that can happen. It's not just always going to be savings challenges and all that stuff. Nothing wrong with those. I think saving challenges are awesome. And for people that are able to do those, that's great. I just, my brain doesn't work that way. And so they stress me out actually. Um, and so for me, it's just, it's just, yeah, I, I just can't. So Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Hope you take care of yourselves and have a good night. And I will talk to you probably next month because that starts tomorrow. September is my favorite month. It's also my birthday month. So, all right. Take care of yourselves. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye.